today I'm just going to be explaining how to easily generate different uh, texture maps, especially height and normal maps. Some specular maps, but as you can see here, these are just two default shaders, which is just the diffuse. Of course, these are just like really plain. There's like no depth. So to make it more detailed, what I'm going to be doing is using this free uh, program called Hero Alive. The link in the description. How it works is just load the diffuse texture in, and you can create and modify different texture maps. Once you open up the program, you're going to go to the diffuse map, click the O, and then you're going to input the texture. Put it texture in. Once you, oh, it needs to be an I think PNG. For Open this in Photoshop and save it as PNG. You can make these in Photoshop too, but the program allows you a lot more flexibility. You have this saved as PNG, go ahead and open it up. Here you can get a 3D view of how it'll look. Firstly, what we're going to do is start off with a height map. So click create, and it'll split the texture in half. We're just going to be playing with these values until you get something you like. What we're aiming for, for something like the bricks, we want the, the actual brick itself to be white and the the gaps in between or the mortar whatever to be black play around with these values so you get something that looks pretty We'll just go with something like this. Then we're happy with the results. Click set as height map. Now we're going to do the normal map. So, or actually first, what you can do is click show full material and it'll show you like a preview. Obviously it won't look like this in GTA. Height maps don't work exactly the same as other programs. But it'll just give you a rough idea of how bumpy and how much height it has. Me, this looks pretty now what we're going to do is click create normal map we're going to play around with these really this is like if it looks really detailed like this you do you don't really want that but we're just going to be trying to lower this a bit Actually, this top slider does it pretty i've noticed that this angular intensity doesn't do much really just kind of ignore that. happy with the result something like that is normal map and then lastly we're going to do the specular map but really you can just click on the uh metallic map it's pretty much the same thing just call it different oh so now we're just kind of want to aim something like the height map just a little different A little darker gray, not as selective.
I'm sure happy with the results. So I'm going to just set it italic. And what you can do is just change the format up here to PNG. Click save or the S. And just rename the file to something like. And it'll save into the same folder that you uh, opened the original diffuse texture in. Or you can change it, but default set. And now that you have all your textures saved, what you can do is minimize out of realize and go back into Blender. As you can see, we don't want to use the default uh, shader. Well, I only did the brick one, so I'm going to keep top to uh, default. What I'm going to do is remove this. Actually, what I'm going to do is not remove it, but create a new normal spec underscore PXM. PXM is basically any shader with PXM. Use height maps. We're just going to go ahead and create. And we're just going to select edit mode. Assign a mesh that has this shader to this one. And we can just remove the old one. Now we can just go ahead and assign our textures. I copy the file path. Put in the textures. So it goes diffuse, specular, then normals down here. And then up here to the right is the height map. Now lastly, pretty much all you have to do now is just play around with the values. So we'll go to material, then go to solemns tab and then values. What I usually do is change the specular fall off to 128. This is mainly for bricks, but for different uh, materials, you would probably change it a bit. But I change a specular Fresnel to 0 0.97, the specular intensity to 0 0.3, and the bumpiness to 2, and the height scale to 0 0.3. Lastly, the height bias to 0 0.3 as well. Then you're pretty much good and now if you want you can either use it ytd or text i mean use it ytd or embed it i'm just going to embed it for this example we're just going to uh, rename this something i embed this other i'm just going to gobble I'm going to create a y type for it Add it. Now we just need to export. As you remember before earlier, we used uh, we saved the textures as PNG. And what we have to do is convert it to DDS. I'm going to be using this tool called Folders to YTD. I'll leave a link in the description. It's really simple and easy to use. It's also free and open source. So change the format output. You can you can use the YTD if you want, if you have that configured. Or you can just use a change it to DDS files. Then you can change the quality to whatever you want. And just select the folder. And click convert. Then now we can just go ahead and import into CodeWalker. RPF. Drag our XMLs in. And as you can see, it looks sort of realistic, but this is because CodeWalker doesn't show the height as well as it does in game. So right now you're only seeing the normal map for the most part. So I'm just going to go ahead and place these in a Y map and then we're going to check it in game. Check the Y map file. 
and place the I'm just going to uh, generate a manifest. Now we should be fine. Get up there. How it looks. Here, normal map appears to be working, or and the height map as well. It works differently at different times. Here, as the light is shining on it, you can see it a lot better. In here, for example, here, if you look on the side, it's completely flat. But if you look like head on, like almost 3D. Let me know if you need any help in the comments, and it helps you out. 